Hey family, Naisha on with the word. Holy Spirit, hey, away for you. Welcome to this place in Jesus' name. I come on to encourage somebody with the word of the Lord to say, it ain't over till it's over. And when is it over? When God says it's over. And the word it tells us to fight the good fight of faith. Fight the good fight of faith. You know, in in boxing, you see the boxers when they're fighting and they be all beat up, bruised, you know, fifth round, they all beat up, bruised, and they go all the way, 10 rounds, right? Why? Because it ain't over till it's over. And in some instances, the one that looked beat up the most gained a second win and they come out victorious. Why? Because it ain't over till it's over. That's the word. That's that's as simple as it gets. It ain't over till it's over. And when is it over? When God says it's over. Fight the good fight of faith. I'm reminded of Hebrews 11 and 1. For faith is the evidence, the substance. <laughs> See, this is why Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for. Another translation says the evidence of things not seen. Now faith, now faith. We can have faith for things in the future. Oh, I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy a house in the future. I have faith that in the future, I'm gonna do this. I have faith that in the future, I'm going to get married. I have faith in the future that I'm going to have children. I have faith in the future that I'm going to start a business. I have faith in the future that my family will be saved. I have faith in the future. The word says now faith. Right now faith. Right now faith. Now faith. Now faith. The full assurance of faith. Wow. I'm going to read this and I'm off here. This is come out of Hebrews 10, starting at verse 19. Therefore, brothers, we have confidence to enter the holy places by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain, that is, through his flesh. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with the true heart and full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean, from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession, the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near. For if we go on sinning deliberately after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a fearful expectation of judgment and a fury of fire that will consume the adversaries. Anyone who has set aside the law of Moses dies without mercy on the evidence of two or three witnesses. How much worse punishment do you think will be deserved by the one who has trampled underfoot the Son of God and has profaned the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified and has, and has outraged the spirit of grace? For we know him who said, vengeance is mine, I will repay, and again, the Lord will judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God, but recall the former days when, after you were enlightened, you endured a hard struggle with sufferings, 
sometimes being publicly exposed to reproach and affliction, and sometimes being partners with those so treated. For you had compassion on those in prison, and you joyfully accepted the plundering of your property, since you knew that you yourselves had a better possession and an abiding one. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward, for you have need of endurance, so that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what is promised. For yet a, little, yet a little while, and the coming one will come and will not delay. But my righteousness, my righteous one shall live by faith. And if he shrinks back, my soul has no pleasure in him. But we are not of those who shrink back and are destroyed, but of those who have faith and preserve their souls. By faith. And I am just a messenger. Thank <laughs> you.